In this video, we'll learn about emergency care. So what can you do if someone is having a heart attack? Oftentimes, there won't be obvious signs of pre-heart attack. This disease is usually asymptomatic until the later stage. Early signs of heart attack include feeling pain or discomfort in his or her chest and shoulders, tiredness, lack of energy, breathing difficulty, and so on. Everyone's complaints might differ, but when heart attack actually happens, one would experience sharp pain on his or her left chest for at least 15 minutes. Men and women have different symptoms. Often women do not experience any chest pain. Their symptoms are fatigue, disturbed sleep patterns, shortness of breath, indigestion, and anxiety issues. If you think you're having a heart attack, call emergency services right away. Do not wait as every minute counts. A person's treatment options and chances of full recovery can be reduced by the delay of treatment. Call emergency services and talk with the operator who is trained to assist you. The six signs of heart attack. So how do you determine whether a person is suffering from a heart attack? Here are the six signs of heart attack that you can take note of. Heart attack sign number one chest pain or discomfort. For men, chest discomfort is the most common symptom of a heart attack. Usually, it's felt as a tight, heavy, or burning sensation. This usually starts in the middle of the chest, then moves to other areas of the body. Sometimes it's continuous, sometimes it goes away and then returns. Some people experience no pain at all, just discomfort or a dull type of pain, which can grow to be quite intense. Others will not have pain, just discomfort. If you think you're having a heart attack, call emergency services right away. If it's only chest pain, the person will still need to see a doctor. Heart attack sign number two, discomfort or pain in other parts of the body. The symptoms of a heart attack can also manifest in different parts of the body, such as one or both arms, the neck, jaw, back, or stomach. Different people, especially women, will experience pain or discomfort in the jaw or back during an attack. Heart attack sign number three, shortness of breath. After someone does physical work, it's normal to have some shortness of breath. If this happens when you are resting, it's often a sign of heart failure. If your breath becomes unusual, take a short rest to normalize your breath. If your breathing does not become normal after two minutes, call emergency services. Heart attack sign number four, nausea, sweating, or clamminess. Many people, especially women, when having a heart attack will feel nauseous, excessive sweating, or clamminess. These symptoms can also be indications of the flu, but if these symptoms occur abruptly, or if you also have other indications of a heart attack, call emergency services immediately. Heart attack sign five, a general feeling of extreme fatigue or weakness. Sometimes the first complaint you may hear from a heart attack patient is general weakness or fatigue. It might not sound like much, but this is a common indication that most potential heart attack patients experienced prior to the attack. But the symptom alone is not enough to diagnose or expect a heart attack as there are too many causes of weakness and fatigue. It could be due to lack of oxygen, not having enough sleep, poor eating habits, anemia, arthritis, and others. But if other signs of heart attack are present, do not hesitate to call for emergency services immediately. Heart attack sign number six, collapse or falling. Often a person with heart attack will collapse or lose consciousness, unlike other chest conditions where this rarely happens. Again, if you find someone collapses and lose consciousness, bring him or her to an open area and call for an ambulance right away. Early warning signs of a heart attack. Heart attacks usually give a bit of a warning before they happen, except with heartbreak attack. Often this can happen days or in some cases months before an attack is imminent and the heart muscle becomes damaged. High blood pressure is a sign of possible heart disease. Chronic heartburn can be an indication of heart problems. Reduced cardiovascular fitness and shortness of breath. 
high blood LDL cholesterol levels, the feeling of being unwell or run down before a heart attack. There are lots of reports of people feeling a sense of impending death before experiencing a heart attack. This is quite common and may have something to do with depression, which is also an indicator of heart problems. Abdominal pain and indigestion is a common sign, especially for people over 55. Because of the similar symptoms in many different conditions or diseases, it can be hard to tell that you are experiencing a heart attack. So, look for several symptoms. The more symptoms you have, higher the chances you are having or will have a heart attack. Routine checkups from your health provider are advisable for prevention and cure. What to do before help arrives. Having a heart attack is a traumatic experience. Often people will panic when having a heart attack, so try to remain calm. If you are helping someone, assure them that help is on the way and that things are okay. It will help calm them. Keeping calm is important. The best recovery position is when sitting in the W position. This is with the back supported at a 75 degree angle and the legs bent so the knees are up and the feet flat on the ground, forming a W shape. Another position that is recommended is to lie flat on your back with your feet up above your heart, the Venus position. This opens your diaphragm, it makes breathing easier and increases the oxygen supply. Once the person is comfortable, all tight-fitting clothing should be loosened to avoid any restriction, but do not allow them to chill, so ensure the person is covered. It is important that the person does not walk around. Lying or sitting in a relaxed position without pressure on the lungs is best. Do not ask unnecessary questions or distress the person, but do check, but do check for any medical bracelet or tags and try to find out if they have any medical condition or are carrying any medicines. If someone is expecting a heart attack, they may be carrying aspirin or nitroglycerin. Usually, they will know the required dose. Help them to take a small amount. If a person's heart stops beating, it becomes necessary to start CPR, but it is important that a person administering CPR is trained correctly. If you do not know how to do CPR, then doing heart compressions is the best option. When CPR is administered, as soon as a person's heart stops beating, even before help arrives, the person's chances of survival are drastically increased. What to do if you are having a heart attack when alone? Most people are alone when they have a heart attack. The first thing you should do is call emergency services. Give your location first, then your name, and try to state your problem. Only after you have summoned emergency services should you call others such as friends or family. The emergency service operator is trained to help you in cases of emergency, so follow their instructions until help arrives. If you are completely alone and do not have a phone, there is still one thing you can do that may save your life. This self-procedure is controversial, but it has been suggested that it could make matters worse if not done correctly. But if you are alone and there's no one available to help, then this is a viable option. Take a very deep breath and then cough vigorously right from the bottom of your chest, the same way a cat will cough to get rid of a fur ball. For this to work effectively, the person needs to take a very deep breath about every two seconds. Breathe in and make a deep, prolonged cough. This procedure has to be maintained until help arrives or your heart regains a regular rhythm and is beating normally. What this procedure does is to bring a large amount of oxygen into your lungs. The coughing squeezes the heart and keeps the blood moving. This squeezing pressure on your heart at about every two seconds will help your heart regain its normal rhythm. By doing this, you should be able to get to somewhere where you could find or call for help. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.